writer for one of the uh, news services, the progressive news outlets, uh, Beanish Ahmad, uh, Beanish Ahmed, excuse me, uh, points out that a congressman asked a question this week which was so offensive that the witness refused to answer. So he did. Now, the question was from Representative Steve King, and it was this. Can you identify for me a suicidal terrorist that was not a Muslim. Now, the U.S. Citizen and Immigration Services Director Leon Rodriguez said, I'm not even going to answer that question, Congressman. Uh, So Mr. Ahmed did. He said uh, he mentioned uh, the assassin of Tsar Alexander II, who said, it is my lot to die young after detonating a bomb. He called, He cited the separatist fighters in Sri Lanka, known as the Tamil Tigers, who have also used that tactic. He has cited uh, the several Americans who have killed civilians in schools, churches, and other public places before committing suicide at the end of the act, which isn't exactly a well, it is. It's a suicidal terrorist. So uh, he makes a good point there. But uh, he left out, uh, Binish Ahmed left out a very important group, which was, we'll get to in a second. Uh, now, the congressman's question reminded me of new atheist Sam Harris, who is a major pro- proponent of anti-Muslim bigotry in this country. He said, uh, paraphrasing, he said several years ago, if someone blows up a building in Europe, we know what religion they are. Now, what struck me at the time about that comment was that, yes, we probably do know today what religion they would be. However, if someone blew up a building or kidnapped someone or assassinated someone in Europe, three or four decades ago, they would almost certainly have been members of the Red Brigades in Italy or the Red Army faction in Germany. That means that the bombers would have been left-wing and atheists. Now, Sam Harris, like some other uh, new atheists, who, by the way, I distinguish completely from atheists as a whole, who, in my experience, are extremely humane and progressive people, but folks like Sam Harris, and Sam in particular, fetishizes a religion I studied for many years, which is Buddhism. He seems to believe it's more rational because it's anti-theistic. That gets us to the most famous suicide bombers of the 20th century. I'm speaking, uh, as perhaps you might have guessed, of the kamikaze. Now, the kamikaze pilots in the Second World War uh, were Japan's living and dying human bombs. They flew their planes into ships knowing they would die in the process. The kamikaze were, uh, of course, Buddhist. In fact, uh, a brilliant book has been written called Zen at War, explaining, uh, by a Buddhist himself, explaining the history of uh, the leading Zen priests and figures in Japan at the time, many of whom supported the Japanese war efforts and encouraged these suicide bombers. My point is not to tar Buddhism any more than it would be to tar Islam. My point is this, that religion or lack of religion should not be scandalized or slandered by the behavior of a few, whether that behavior is sanctioned by imams or Zen priests who themselves are a minority of their own religion. No one should be tarred by the actions of a few. That is the textbook definition of bigotry.